have a true allergy to wheat or gluten. And that means that you'd end up with hives, anaphylactic shock, kind of what people think about with peanut allergies, more intense. Another reason to avoid gluten would be true celiac disease. This is where the body has an immune response to gluten, which then causes the lining of the intestinal tract to be severely damaged. This can lead to decreased absorption of nutrients, so malnutrition, also lead to osteoporosis, increased cancer risk, and a lot of GI distress. Other symptoms can be along the lines of headaches, malaise, muscle aches and pains. The symptoms are very, very. An increasingly common reason for avoiding gluten is gluten sensitivity. It's estimated that somewhere between 10 and 30 percent of the population suffer from a gluten sensitivity. And this is different from celiac in that you don't have the same intestinal damage occurring. There does still seem to be an immune response going on. There's been more and more research supporting that. But it's not, but you can't diagnose it the same way. So symptoms that go along with gluten sensitivity are again pretty similar to celiac in that a lot of people still have GI upset, that's stomach upset, or headaches, muscle aches and pains, joint issues, increased depression, a really wide variety of symptoms.